Hey guys, uh, a little update today, small one. I'll keep it short and sharp. Um, as the title suggests, two physio visits in two days and a really positive outcome from the two. My NHS physio was business as usual really. Came in, had a quick chat. Um, I'm now on zero degrees on the boot. I'll give you a little close up of the boot. I'll put it in a weird place. Um, a little close, little close up of the boot. Um, and you can see how that's looking. And I'll give you a little clip of me walking as well. So you can see how I'm walking with the boot zero. Um, that was physio number one. Physio number two, um, bit more hands on, bit more of an examination. So I had like a bit of a consultation with a place um, that the guys, they specialize in running and gait analysis and Achilles and heels and feet in general. Um, so figured it'd be a good place to start. So I had some soft tissue stuff done got really stuck into my feet, loosened them up for me, which was just fantastic, felt really good. So feet, ankles on both sides, Achilles on both sides, calves on both sides, um, hamstrings on both sides, and my lower back. Nice little rub down, actually, felt really good, feels really good now. Six weeks since I've had the boot on, but six and a half weeks since I did the injury, so it is technically week seven. I haven't completed week seven, obviously. Um, but he seems to think, sort of between us, looking at my injury, looking at my capability that I can do, the strength that I've got in that leg, I'm probably a little bit further ahead, not to get ahead of myself, and I'm not just gonna rip the boot off and you know start jogging and jumping and stuff like that. The physio that I had yesterday, we kind of agreed in three weeks time, because I'm on zero now, zero degrees now, in three weeks time, the boot's gonna start to come off, so I'm gonna wean off the boot. We kind of agreed today, uh, moving forward, we're gonna do some more soft tissue movement and, and trying to move that scar tissue and stuff. Um, but also we're gonna start to look at soon um, a zero gravity or low gravity um, uh, treadmill, which is gonna be wicked. Hopefully they'll let me film some of that as well, or hopefully um, the chap will film it for me so that you can see that. Um, just really positive, actually. I'm glad I didn't make a video the day I came back from the uh, physio and was told I couldn't cycle or swim because probably wouldn't have been great to look at. On the flip side, the guy I spoke to today said as long as I'm safe, thing is I'm a relatively active person and I'm managing my limitations as well. So for quite a while I've been able to fully weight bear in the boot. I fully understand that some people at this point can't do that. They're still using one or both crutches even up to and towards week 10. So I'm very lucky in the fact that I can do that, but at the same time I'm managing my limitations. I do spend a little bit of time out of the boot. I have been known to hobble to the toilet because my room's right next to the, the, the bathroom, but I'm not running around the house, um, you know, doing crazy stuff, bouncing up and down on trampoline and uh, doing some calf stretches. I've got one of these, um, which was luckily lying around the house from previous injury. Um, so he also told me to now to get a routine. So I was doing some sporadic range of movement exercises, just literally opening my toes, moving my feet side to side, um, and then started doing some isometric holds, so pushing left and right, still in plantar flexion the whole time, and also pushing against the towel. Um, so he said to start and get a routine now, and don't just do that kind of um, whenever, you know, once a day or once every other day, or start getting a bit of a routine amp up a little things now and start to not push yourself or test yourself but just add a little bit on start to see a bit of a progression now start to have a bit of a progressive overload which is wicked um, because then you know you're making progress i'm not going to physio next week so the week after i'll be there so we'll be on kind of we're from week seven now next week will be week eight so we kind of like around week eight um, week nine nine and a half and then the following week the boot will be coming off so Really positive day. Um, I'm sure I'll have some negative days in between then. I'm gonna get my bum in the swimming pool as well um, as I've been cleared for that. I'm not gonna have much chance next week, but the following week, let's do it, man. Let's get in that pool. Um, also been cleared to use my turbo trainer with the boot on, nice and gentle, 20 minutes. I think I'm gonna be getting up nice and early tomorrow morning, um, and I'll try and capture some stuff on that. Okay, guys, so I'll speak to you soon. Um, I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but please share any of these videos. Um, if it can help you or help you, a person who's going through a similar injury, please share it um, and leave a comment as well because um, I'm trying to reply to the comments and just gain as much information as I can and hopefully spread as much information as I can to other people with this injury. All right, guys, see you soon.